Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragonair Silent Gods video. It is finally time for Season 3. The game has gone live a couple of hours ago. I only just had the chance to sit down and get into it. I've avoided opening the game now, because uh, until now. Because when you start Season 3, well, start a new season, there's a little recap of your previous season. So I'm going to run through that with this uh, that with you in this video. Uh, before I get into it though, I do just want to say a huge thank you to Dragonair Silent Gods for su uh, supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. If you are interested in getting involved in the game, please do click the link in my description and uh, get involved today. So here we go, this is the uh, initial cutscene of Season 3. So you've got a little bit of text to go through. Get through that. And there we go, it's time for the Season 2 review to see how I did last season. So my ranking was 56th last season. I was uh, a little bit short of getting top 50, unfortunately, but it still does mean I get 20 of the epic tickets, 10 Heliolite dice, and enough for another two from Worm Arrow, and I do get the gold shop. So straight off the bat, I'm getting 82,000 um, Essence of Creation to upgrade my artifacts, and I've got 5,526 uh, sand core to spend in the seasonal shop, which we'll do in just a minute. So here we go. So season begins, Echoes of the Deep, the newer elemental affinities for this season, so we've got Fire and Radiance, we've got Lightning and Necrosis, and we've got Ice and Poison. New stage mechanics, experience redesigned stages with brand new mechanics. Uh, new equipment and bosses, skills of dungeon bosses were updated, new equipment sets are well prepared. Brand new schools of damage, and uh, damage dealing, and over 30 new heroes, which I have covered in separate videos. But we've got Aura for Radiance, Corrosion for Poison, and Shadow for Necrosis. This is the horse that I've got for finishing in the top, I think it was top 150 got to earn the horse. Um, so we'll equip that. And that is the one from season one's ranking. Obviously this is season two. Each season there is a new horse added. Right, let's go and look at my recap of season two then. Okay, so story progress. I defeated this on the 17th of December. I can't remember when it went live. I consumed 42,000 energy and 319 million gold. I obtained 17 legendary heroes and 159 epic heroes. The first legendary I got was Questitia. Questitia. Uh, I leveled 60 heroes to level 100. Echoes of Mechashon progress. So I did 9.25 billion damage to the endgame boss and I finished 29th on rankings for that, which got me 720,000. Uh, as well as that, I got 720,500 exploration progress for those rewards. Temporal Vortex, I reached difficulty 4 the day it was available and did 114 million as my maximum damage, which got me the best ranking of 19th on the leaderboard. Uh, in terms of dungeons, Goblin Lair, Stage 5, uh, that's the normal one, this is the one that matters. So Stage 3, 42 seconds of the highest level of Goblin, 1,877 times. Flame Domain, Stage 5, Frost Domain, Stage 5, Tempest Domain, Stage 5, all of those are fairly straightforward. Grave of Venom, my best clear was 31 seconds on stage 9, did that 533 times. Grave of Curse, uh, 1 minute exactly, 86 times. 40 seconds on Grave of Rot with 105 runs. Heretical Ruins, 1 minute 26, 148 runs. And 94 runs of Ancient Battlefield with a best time of 1 minute 52 seconds. So, as you can see, most of my gear farming was spent in Grave of Venom. However, that will change this season with the addition of Mythical Artifacts. I'll be farming a lot more Curse and Rot as well this season, I expect. So, in terms of Fae Meander, I cleared that fully, as well as Pillar of Trials. They are all completed for me. And uh, Arena, I, I didn't really do much Arena, I'll be honest. So, uh, Silver 2 was the highest rank I got in Grand Gladiator Arena, and I barely touched the other two. This season I plan on changing that, I will finally push for the playing cards artifact. Um, I was a little bit lazy last season with Arena though and didn't have the motivation to push it. Right, so that is the recap, so time to officially start Season 3. So I'm not entirely sure how this works in terms of Season 3, I, obviously I had the test server but there was no story mode on that, I don't know if there is potentially now, I guess we'll find out any second. Um, I'll be a bit disappointed if there isn't. Um, so let's look at quests. So I've, I've only got commissions. So no, once again, there is no story. Well, I say once again, there is no story for season three unless it comes later on potentially. And we've got hard training. As well as that, we've got all of the other events that you'd expect at the start of the season, like double pop up. We'll have a little look at this summon event in just a second. 
In fact, we'll go straight to that, the fourth eye summons. So these tickets you get with your um, seasonal ranking. So as you can see, I've got 20. Every 10 guarantees a legendary. Um, obviously, you could get lucky and get one before that. So it's recommended to pull them one by one. So it would appear I can get all of the legendaries apart from the exclusives from that, as well as a handful from season two. Um, two of them I already have, but I wouldn't mind getting a calf rose. A shine actam wouldn't be great, but rose or calf would be pretty cool to get. Um, however, obviously, I'd much rather get a season three hero like um, Finger and I can't remember his name, Theodema. They are incredibly strong, so I'd be very happy to get one of them. As always, we've got the 80 summon event, so 80 dice will guarantee you an extra legendary. And then we've got the season three summons, which is the fun one where all of the heroes from season three are included. No season two or season one heroes, it's all about these. So as many dice as you can put into here, if you get a legendary, it will only be a new one. Right, so before I get into actually looking at the game and progressing, um, nice, we've got a reward from maintenance. I do just want to call out two promo codes. So I'll put them up on screen now. We've got Dragonair S2 and Dragonair S3 in capitals. So these will give you, I believe it's three Starlight Dice and some gems for the capitals one and one Heliolite Dice and a couple of Starlight Stone Dice for the, the first one. So make sure you do pick those up. If you don't know how to, you press the plus in the corner, go to your settings, go down to service, and then you've got redemption code there. So just put them in here. So it would be Dragonair S2 or Dragonair S2. Oh no, sorry, S3. They're S3, not S2. There we go, that's gonna be a bit of getting used to. Right, so over to the seasonal shop is what I want to do. So as you can see, we've got the gold shop. First things first, we're buying all of the dice. We're also going to buy all of the master scrolls. Um, what else should we buy? We'll buy the epic scrolls, they are always useful. Grab some starlight dice to try and get some epics if we don't get it, or failing that, we get some more um, Echo of Glypsidra. Now, Worm Arrow, I've still got 2,000 left. I want to check something. Okay, so it's the season three shop where, why can't I buy anything here? Okay, so I'm guessing it's next season we can start to pick up some of the things we've missed out on. But yeah, back to here anyway. Um, so I've still got 2,000 left. I will grab the avatars, I guess. Might as well. I'll also grab that in case I want to change my appearance. And after that, I believe we'll just gold with the rest. There we go. So some gold to start the season with. And that is my seasonal ranking shop done. Uh, so as you can see, we've got the Aladia event coming in the second month of the season. So that's the shop for that there. The good old shop for the weekly bosses. The arena shop. I will be getting these lucky playing cards this season. And um, the Elminster shop, obviously that's still there. We've got two new epic artifacts. We've covered those in separate videos, but this slingshot is incredibly strong. And um, this seems like a pretty good tank artifact, but uh, yeah, the slingshot kind of takes precedent there. We've got a load of new legendary artifacts as well. We've got three new exclusive artifacts. So yeah, that is about it for the kind of introduction to season three. I will be doing some summons later on today. I will wait and uh, wait till I've kind of cleared through whatever story I can for the day just to get the most I can. Um, so yeah, that is all for this video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the look of Dragonair, please do remember to um, click the link in the description and get involved today. And once again, just a massive thank you to Dragonair Silent Gods for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. I'll see you in the next one.